Welcome to the Run Life Podcast. I'm your host, Rashawn Guillory. Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in for episode number four. Before I get started and say anything else, I need you to hold on. I'm, I'm going to get to you. Look at the, Do you see this pretty girl? Yeah, she is so beautiful. I need you to like, follow, subscribe, and share the Run Life Podcast where we run life with Christ in mind. We have a special guest today. And we have a kids edition of Run Life Podcast. And our special guest is Journey Robinson. Hi, Journey. Hi. How are you today? I'm good. All right. You look so beautiful with your hair popping like you do. Who did your hair? You did. I did. (laughs) You look so beautiful. I'm so happy to have you as my special guest, my first special guest. Give me a high five on the podcast. And we're going to talk about a few things that are pertaining to children and um my daughter well of course she's my daughter she is a great speaker and so you know i believe in my baby don't i yep look i tell you you're the best all the time ain't you the best yep you know it yep and you grow it yep okay so i'm getting her on here getting used to speaking letting her share her truth also for other kids and parents that want to just share their truth you guys look jump on in get some of this get into it all right You know how we do. We're going to pray. You ready to pray, Journey? Yep. Do you want to pray? Yep. Really? Okay. Let's close our eyes. Go ahead. Take it away. Thank you, God, for today. Thank you, God, for our family. Thank you for this day where I can see everyone and tell them how I feel about coronavirus. Amen. Amen. Good job, girl. You go ahead, baby minister, baby minister. So thank you again, Journey Robinson, for being on the show and being a special guest on the Run Life podcast. I also, again, want to want to say thank you guys for coming back. Like, subscribe and share. You know how we do. We're going to get right into the news. OK, right into the news. So Pfizer has been FDA approved. Pfizer is the COVID shot. Just mm-hmm. to let you know, Pfizer, you know, keeping you updated. It's been FDA approved. FDA approved saying, like, it's safe to take. You got it? Okay. Mm-hmm. So people can now safely take this Pfizer shot to, you know, help your, your COVID situation. People are still dying from COVID with or without the shot. Delta variant. Look, you know me. I'm, I guess, the second part of the CDC because I've been giving y'all all kind of updates, honey. But... You know, um, this the shot is still not approved for kids and they're still doing different types of trials to help protect children that are now contracting or getting COVID while these, you know, going back to school situations. Super scary, super scary. And that's kind of part of our topic, but it's super scary. And we're going to get into it. I don't want to share my topic before we get into it. Second one, Tesla came out with a home bot. OK, look. I watched the video for those that haven't watched the video. The, the thing does backflips. It was doing parkour um, and it's supposed to be able to do home like tasks that, you know, mundane tasks that we probably don't want to do. And um, that's creepy. That is creepy. We are finally going into the iRobot phase where you can buy a home bot that is literally walking around doing stuff. We know how how the robot movie, how it ended. OK, let's all be careful. Um. I think it's great for people like seniors, um, people that are disabled, maybe people that just got money, can afford it and just ain't going to do those tasks. And you need a robot to program to do whatever you need to do. At the end of the day, look, the more we let the outside world in with eyes and ears into our home, I'm telling you, it gets a little scarier every day. But this is the world that we're now walking in. Check out that Tesla robot, that thing. 
is pretty gangster. Okay, y'all watch out for that Tesla robot. Don't let it hem you up. Okay, don't let it catch you on a bad day. It's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. This girl, I love it. All right. Going into sports real quick. Y'all know I love track and field, hence run life. Hello. Used to be a, a USA track and field athlete just a few miles back. I ran my last race when she was three months in my belly. Okay. You could just imagine three. One. No, I didn't win. I got third place. But Shakari, Shakari, y'all know Shakari. She got the nail. She got the hair. She She's a mix between Flojo and Maurice Green. Do your research, okay? I'm not I'm not going to do it for you, only on the word of God. But she's like the Flojo with the style, and she got popping hair, and she got the nails. Maurice Green, because she going to talk that talk. She going to talk it, okay? She going to say what she got to say, and that's it. Shut it down. Unfortunately, you can't talk that big when you get beat in your race. Mm. But, you know, Shakari's been through a lot. She's young. Like, does anybody remember their 20s? What were you doing in your 20s? What were you saying in your 20s? Go back on your Facebook and your Instagram. What were you posting in your 20s? You know, she still got room to grow. She got a hot mouth. That mouth go is hot. It goes. She say what she need to say. She be talking to them people kind of crazy. They don't like it. But she kind of she kind of hood. This is our next generation. They saying what they got to say. Um, she did get toasted in a race. But for people that have not ran track, have not had any professional um, athleticism ever, um, haven't even ran, you know, a mile in a while. I do not need y'all opening your mouth about her 11 point whatever hundred meter. You will never in your life be able to run 100 meters in 11 seconds. Look, I barely okay barely made it into 11 okay so you guys saying oh she got toasted look if it was you you never would have made it (laughs) look never could have made it without your legs breaking off because you are too slow and shikari carry she be moving no all right i'm done look Y'all stay off Shakiri. <laughs> Y'all stay off, stay off her. She's going through a lot. Let the girl grow and evolve as an athlete. Maurice Green was talking at junk and he was real flashy in this day in 100. You guys look up Maurice Green. He was flashy and talked that talk. He did win. But let the girl grow and evolve, okay? Look, y'all know how I do. I want y'all to love the people. Let's get to the topic, okay? Because I got my special guest here. She got stuff to do, right? Yep. You got a whole schedule and I need you to speak your truth. So today, today's topic is kids mental health. Can you say that? Kids mental health. Kids mental health. One more time. Kids mental health. Okay. So as you guys know, for us, the 30th is when kids go back to school. Um, we are seeing other people's children get COVID and have this whole rampant COVID thing go around. I haven't got the shot. Of course, she hasn't got the shot. We have never contracted COVID. Had tests? Yes. But we've never gotten COVID. And um, for the most part, our immune system is pretty great. Hers is probably a little worse because of the candy. You know, she'd be like, Mommy, can I have some candy? Mommy, can I have some candy? <laughs> you love the candy, don't you? I love candy. All right, you got to speak up. Okay. Okay. So with that, um, I was asking her a few questions about what does she feel about returning to school? You know, what is her, what are your feelings as a child? Um, this is the situation you're in. You're about to return to school. And um, I need you to speak your truth for kids that don't have a voice or for kids that don't have a platform. They need to hear what you're thinking about you, your mental health and, and returning and making these big strides into a whole bushel of kids. Okay, so you ready to speak your truth? Yep. All right. So my first question is, Journey, what is the hardest part about being a kid in the pandemic? Well, it's kind of hard when you can't see anyone that has COVID. Mm Mm-hmm. And when you love them, when if you have a family that you can't see that has COVID, Mm -hmm. then it then you kind of miss them. Okay, so you're missing people and um, you're know, missing your loved ones. You're separated. That ain't fun, right? Mm-mm. Good thing we weren't separated because I would have lost my mind, girl. So what else is really hard about 
being a kid, being raised in the pandemic. Do you miss your friends? Yeah. Girl, I know you be asking me, can we do this? Can we do that? And how do you feel when I say no sometimes because of the pandemic? Well, sometimes when you say no, it's it kind of, it's a dot of hurt. Mm-hmm. But then when I get, but then when I find something to do, then it I don't really remember when I asked to do anything. Okay. So what have you been doing in the house to be busy and just kind of, you know, still live your life and be active? What do you do? Um, when I'm bored or something, I just, I just play with my dolls or play on, or watch some TV. Okay. Have you been doing something creative? Yeah, I've been drawing pictures. Mm-hmm. And how good have you gotten at that? One thousand percent. Yeah. I don't know. Her drawing abilities have went all the way up. I was like, girl, you drew that? And you'd be like, uh, yeah. She, uh, surprising thing, she, th- she, uh, we went to Bible study yesterday. And, you know, you give your kids paper and stuff. And, you know, I was going through my worship look. Y'all know I take out chairs and don't even care. Right, Journey? She be over yeah. there fanning me. She's like, I know my mama prays. I'm going to just be over here with this fan, like, doing my job. And um, she drew a, an angel over me. And I was like, girl, did you see that? She was like, yeah. I was like, well, gosh darn. That's mighty cool. All right. Give me a high five. I love this interview with you. All right, second question. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. What do you miss about the world changing? I miss seeing my friends. Mm-hmm. Who, who did you hang out with a lot? Um, Makaya. M- Makaya. Oh, Makaya. Sweet. She's a sweet girl. Yeah. I think before we got you out of school during... After the or before the pandemic, you were taking swim class, right? Mm-hmm. It was fun. Man. I did a flip underwater. Girl, she was swimming like a fish. And to see all the kids together, and then all of a sudden, you know, these are some of her first experiences in school because you're a second grader now. Or you're going to second grade. So some of her first experiences were like kinder, and they were swimming. They were doing all kind of stuff. And all of a sudden, just shut down. You'd be like, what? You know, I like this old life I had. I feel that. Okay, question number three. Uh, Do you know someone that's gotten sick? Yes. Really? How did it make you feel? It made me feel a little bit sad. Mm, I'm sorry that happened to you. How did you, uh, did you pray for them? What did you do? When I visited them, I asked Ebony if I can call them on the phone. Okay. And did you talk to them? I haven't talked to them um, a lot. But Mm -hmm. I talked to them um, before. Okay, that's good. Keeping it updated, all right. And before they had corona, I spent it the night at their house. Right, you did. I'm glad you got that time with them before they got sick, right? Yep. Okay. Next question, how do you feel about going back to school? I feel very excited because then I can make new friends and very scared because um, there's a lot of bullies in school. There's a lot of bullies? Mm. Like Leo? Oh, you dropping names. Yeah, we have, we have to deal with Leo. But we're going to move on from Leo. Don't drop his name. But I dealt with him, didn't I? Yep. Yeah, mama, don't play that. Don't play with mine. I will come see you and your kid. No fear. All right. Um, what else do you? What was the question? I'm sorry. Also, you're gonna have to wear a mask when you go back to school. There's gonna be lots of hand sanitizer. Six feet away. That's what she said. Stay six feet away. Look at you. Or a thousand. Or a thousand. Look, just back back. Don't get me sick, cause my mama my mama don't play that, right? Mm-mm. All right. All right. I think that's all the questions you had. I had for you today on, you know, your mental health and being a kid, being raised in a pandemic. Yeah. Um, I know you helped somebody just by sharing your story. Um, other ki- kids are, are feeling the same way you are. So thank you for speaking up for them. You're welcome. During this time. Is there anything you want to say to the people, Journey? Just um, about 
you being a kid, mental health, COVID, anything you want to share, or maybe if you want to talk to a little girl or boy on here and give them encouragement. So if anybody, if you're stuck in the house and you have nothing to do, just get some paper and draw a list of what you want to do, and then um, you'll be very um, hyped. You'll be hyped about yep. those new activities? Yep. That's good. I think adults can use that too, right? Mm -hmm. Because some of them are stuck in the house working, and they need time to be like, Whew. like when you see me get frustrated, I'm like, ooh, I need to go have some tea, right? Mm -hmm. I need. I listen to my gospel music, girl. First it was fragrance, then it turned to fire. I've got that song on repeat right now. That's why she's smiling. <laughs> but girl, look, I enjoyed having you on the Run Life podcast. Thank you. Can we have you back again one day? Yes. To talk about more things from a kid's point of view? Yep. All right. Thank you again, Journey. I love You're you. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Can I get a kiss on the cheek? Just a little one. Just a little one. Come on, just a little one. Got a few minutes. All right. I love you, baby girl. I love you too. All right. In conclusion, guys, um, keep your kids, you know, talking about what they're going through. Um, you're not only stressing, you know, kids are stressing, watching you stress. And um, keep them talking about what's going on because they have hearts and heads and feelings that they need to share. Big feelings. And um, yeah, we just ask the kids how they feel. Okay. Counseling for kids, family counseling is a great thing, but let's keep our kids elevated and safe. Even though these things are going on, if you're not sure about going back to school, you know, ask for that virtual option. Don't pl don't let these people force you into like hurting all your kids into these schools and everybody got germs and stuff. It's not right. It's, it isn't, you know, it isn't. And you're totally right in your opinion on that. So if you feel something in your heart that says, yes, I need a virtual option, go to your district and make that matter known. Don't let them force you to be with all these germs and your kids get sick. I'd be I'd be so sad if Journey got sick just because I felt like everybody just needed to go and I just threw her in there and she got sick. And it's my responsibility to keep her safe, period, right? This is my legacy. Got to keep her safe. You guys keep your kids safe. I want you guys to like, follow, subscribe, and share. It's been amazing to do uh, episode four with my baby girl on kids' mental health. Keep talking. Keep growing and loving each other. And keep living life with God in mind. Running life with God in mind. We'll see you for the next episode. Bye. Run life.